Hi. It's okay. Hi. Hi, bud. Can I come in and sit down with you? Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. You still have such sad eyes. Such concern in those eyebrows, huh? Hi, buddy. Hi. I'm going to... I don't want to pee between him and his bed. I'm going to set that right there for a moment. There you go, bud. This kennel is bigger than a lot of the kennels I usually sit in. And so it makes him seem really small. But I'm he's a big German Shepherd. I haven't looked at him directly, but... I'm guessing he's 80 pounds. He's a big guy. I'm closer to the camera and I'm big, so it also makes him look small. I think you can see on the, in this angle. Hey, look, look at his paws. And, wow. Look how big his paws are. He's got those very alert German Shepherd eyes. Sometimes when I'm in a kennel, like the smaller the kennel is, it's better because it just, to some extent, forces the dog to uh, put up with me. In a bigger kennel like this, you don't always see the dog come to me, and I am a little worried about this guy because there is one thing that I know about him. And uh, Alexis is actually here at this shelter with me. It's a shelter we haven't we haven't done a video at for a long time. San Gabriel Valley Humane Society in Los Angeles County in San Gabriel Valley, but I do know that he has been here for a year. I think I'm gonna we're gonna find out his full story here in a minute. And for a dog to be in this state after being in a shelter for a year is so heartbreaking. Surprisingly, though, not uncommon. Dogs can kind of spiral down in a situation, even if they came in friendly, just because of the pressure and the noise of a shelter. Earlier when I first met him, he was in the yard in one of the outside kennels for cleaning and for feeding. And it was it's interesting because when I approach the kennel, you can see he just immediately goes to the back. He's in this state. I saw one of the team members, Valerie, go up to him and he came right up to her, which is great. He's a good, you can tell, but he's, he's a good dog. But the problem is when potential adopters come to the shelter, they see him and he cowers in the back of the kennel. The big guy, scary, concerning. So he just, nobody adopts him. The days turn into weeks and the weeks, months and years. So this is no life. This is the shelter life, no life for a living being. I think the thing that if you look closely at him that's striking is not only just his eyes and his eyebrows and how concerned he is, but his stance where he's just like his poor little paws at chest, he doesn't rest. I'm gonna try a treat. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and sit down with that. Big dogs like him, I do really careful when I'm in a kennel because I don't want to ever put too much stress or pressure on him where he feels like he has to react in a negative way. And I don't see any signs of that. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Say, hey, he took a treat. It was a gesture of friendship. It's okay. Maybe this guy isn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> or or more so, there's no alarm here. I can go ahead and sit down and relax. And that's really good. That's really good. I don't think he's interested in his bed. I think it's a new bed. And I think where I thought it would actually be inviting for him, I think it's actually putting a divide between the summit. I'm going to move this over in the corner over here. It's like, let's keep all closer to him. I'm going to close the gap a little bit here. Oh, he's so pretty though, right? He's like... There's something about big German Shepherds that just, they're so beautiful. German Shepherds are one of the more pretty dogs, right? Like, it's hard to not look at a German Shepherd and go, wow, that is a beautiful creature. But he is one of those. And it is interesting because with confidence, you start to see that beauty. It, sometimes it's harder to see when, when they're cowering and they're scared. And I bet when he has a confidence and he stands up straight, 
and mighty like a German shepherd. I think it's so beautiful. That's good. That's really good. Okay. I didn't know if we were going to be able to get anywhere because he's been here for a year. But I'll tell you what, with that one treat right there, or the second treat he's taken now, I am hopeful. I'll bet in the time that we sit here together, we could have a friendship before I leave. And, and I always say, like, there are no goals in these interactions with the dogs. Like, I don't have an agenda or a goal uh, most of the time. In this situation, what I'm trying to achieve is if we can get him out of his shell and we can show his little personality and you see this and someone sees this and says, I can give this guy a chance. He's okay. And we show him in a different light than how everyone sees him when they come to the shelter and they're in the back of the kennel scared. And that helps lead to him getting a home. Success. Let's see if he'll take one out of my hand. And, and here in a minute, then we're going to get his story. Because I feel like there's a story here, especially if he's been at the shelter for a year. And he did the German Shepherd thing too. If you have a German Shepherd, if you ever work with German Shepherds, maybe they're the worst tree takers. Maybe there's another breed. You know, I'm generalizing for sure, but German Shepherds are just. <laughs> what they take treats? They just take your knuckles off. But that's really good. I want to go straight to an open hand tree, but I'm a, let's do let's do one more hand. Let, let's go let's go to an open hand. We're making such good progress. The open hand, in my experience, when you're dealing with shut down dogs, is a much bigger uh, ask because of look what's coming at you here, right? And the big old hand versus this is a little less intimidating. So I'm I'm asking a little bit more, getting a little closer. That's really good. I'm very happy about this. I think it's, I took video of it. I think it's just that initial approach where he's so scared. He just hasn't been reassured that it's okay if someone approaches him. It's that initial approach when someone is coming right up to him that causes him to cower. And again, this this is likely kennel, you know, it's not kennel reactivity. I mean, it is. He's not reacting towards the kennel. He's reacting away from it. And it's likely something he developed at the shelter and that probably not something he came in with. That's why I try to highlight dogs when they first come into the shelter and try to get them out of his state. Because the longer they're here, typically the longer they're here. And a lot of shelters across the nation, they can't keep dogs around. And when they're out of space, it's the end for the dog. And so I try to catch them right when they come in. Thank goodness San Gabriel Valley Humane Society has been able to care for him this long which is expensive, but they believe in him. The staff believes in him. And I'm so glad they pointed him out to me. What, Alexis, what's his name? Wayne. Wayne. You know your name. Of course you do, because you've been here a year. Wayne. Wayne, do you want a treat? Good boy, Wayne. Good boy. Does really good. What did do, uh, does Wayne mean something? What's Wayne mean? Yeah, uh, actually, King. What a fitting name. A name that you can grow into for sure. You will have the confidence of the king now that we got you, buddy. Wang. I like it. I like it. He's looking at me now. This is good. I want to go in for the touch. I don't know if we're ready yet, but I feel like we try that before we get his story. Peeking at him right now because someone walked in here, so he's distracted. Yeah, he's kind of pretty tail, pretty coat. He's really healthy. I mean, they obviously they've taken good care of him. And he's, you can tell he's had some some baths. I mean, he's got such a, he almost has like a human face. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he almost has like human face. I mean, keep giving him treats. I want to try the paw touch where I give him a treat and touch his paw, but his paw's so far over. I think. Huh? Not ready for that yet. I might, I think I'll just try a side touch as I'm giving him a treat. The goal is to associate touch with a uh, positive. I think we're going to be buddies, but I, I think we need to learn a little bit more about his story to just 
know where he's coming from. Alexis, were you able to talk to the team to get his story? Yeah, uh, they told me how Wang came into the shelter. How old is he? Wang is just a little over four years old. Four? Yeah, that's like, by the way, Wang, everybody, four is the ideal age to adopt a dog. I am where it says, I want a puppy. I want a puppy. You don't want a puppy. <laughs> There's so much work. Four is great because like they're still young, agile. They can go to the park. They can go on runs if you exercise. They're, they're, all of their personality character is there, but they're not going to have puppy accidents. They're not going to have that bounce off the wall energy. You hear that? You just, that you're okay with that bird you're hanging out? I'll show you the new shelter space we're in right now at San Gabriel Valley Humane Society. There are birds hanging out here because it's kind of indoor outdoor to some extent. And, uh, and he's fine with that. The reason I mentioned that is like a lot of dogs would be so fixated on that, especially prey driven German Shepherds. So I only pointed out because it's just a testament to his personality. Well, he's working up a little bit now with that bird. <laughs> in all fairness, the bird's like right in front of him taunting and he's still okay. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a squeaky toy, doesn't it, buddy? Here, let's, let's take your mind off. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Alex, I got distracted with the birds. <laughs> okay. All right. So four years old, um, uh, came in with a microchip or no? Yes, I believe so. Okay. All right. What's, what's his story? The team told me that Wang was an owner turn in. Okay. And he was separated from his sibling or his, you know, his partner in crime. Okay. Um, and they're guessing that he was likely like the less dominant one of the pair because of how he acts. I could see that. Um, that he's directionless now. Oh, that's so he they, lost his buddy. Yes. And, uh, they also think that he was probably just a backyard dog his whole life until getting here. Is anything else? Um, well, just notes from the team. Uh, they oh. write a little bio on the dogs here. Oh, okay. So uh, his bio says, I'm still a very shy boy, so it will take some time for me to get comfortable with you. But once I get past my nerves, I'm a big cuddle bug. Overall, I'm just a very sweet and lovable boy. I love getting treats and being called a good boy. Then I think it's perfect time for affirmations. And look at this. He let me just hit him on the head. Oh, okay. Yeah. Positive affirmation. And I, and I have something, Wayne, I have something very important to tell you. I think that you need to tell. First, Wayne, you are a good boy. Did you know that? You're a good boy. And I know you probably lost your best friend. I don't know if it was a sibling or your best buddy. You, were, it seems like maybe you were a bonded pair. And I got to tell you, it's not your fault. It's not anything you did. You, you deserve more. Yes, I need to, I gotta, I gotta pay the tax. You're a good dog and you deserve more. And one day you are going to be back with someone who really loves you and you're going to have your best buddy and your life mate and your soulmate. Okay. I know it's been a long time and it's just been a holding period, but I got to tell you from here on out, buddy, we're going to work to find you a home. Okay. So your time here is not going to be much longer. You've been through the hard part. You're a good boy. You deserve more. You're a good dog. None of this is your fault. Okay? It's like, it's like he, he feels it, you know? I'm sure he's thinking everything I've been through, like, this is just what it is. This is, at this point, this is what life is. What you'll find out is a dog like this will give you their all. I mean, dogs are great and they're loyal and they're kind and they're loving. But a dog that comes from this state, when they're treated to a home, to just the simple luxuries of getting to be a dog, be on the couch, play fetch, go on walks, sneak a burger at the drive through When they get those things, they're so grateful. Like they just, there's something about them where they just know where they came from and where they're at now. And I got to tell you, if you take a dog like Wayne into your family, everyone wants a good dog. And a lot of times people think they want the dog that is front of the pack. A dog like Wang that will listen to commands, that will follow your lead. If, if you show him a little bit of confidence, but he's not a, an aggressor or hyperactive, I mean, you just couldn't ask for a better situation. I just think he would be the perfect dog. Yeah. 
Let's see if you can break out of your shell. Right, Dad? Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy, Wayne. That's a good boy. Right here. <laughs> it's like itching over. Pick. Right here. You can do it. Oh, yeah. I love that he's treating me already. That helps so much. Here you go, bud. Here. That's a good boy. He is a good boy. Got some more? Okay. Yeah. Here it goes. Thank you. Good boy, indeed. Neither. Yeah, look at that. Coming to the front of the kennel. What's going on, buddy? Wait. Here you go. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Does that feel good? Yeah. Here you go, some more. You got some more? Don't worry about that. Here you go. Oh, here you go. It's always tough when you're at the shelter and you're working with a dog and it's, oh, everything's calm and the moment's right and the stress kicks back up and you suddenly yeah. rinse. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, come on. Hey, it's okay. Yeah. That's just that's just somebody else. Don't worry about this. Here you go. Good boy. The good thing is about a big guy like this is like we can give him plenty of treats. It's gonna be yeah, if he can handle it. So I'll just keep you, I'll keep you in the treat machine and I'll keep finding his love with treats. Look at these, buddy. Look. Wing. Wing. Don't go back there, bud. That's the heartbreaking part, right? You make a little bit of that progress and then you see that fear set back in. And the thing is, is he just needs a heart. But the great thing is, if you're watching this video, we as a community can obey his voice and can help him find that helmet. And that's what's really awesome. It's like, sometimes you see this and you go, oh, that's so sad. I don't know if I'm gonna watch that. It doesn't feel good. What I do in these situations is, I don't think about him in this moment, in this state. This beautiful, courageous German shepherd that is, is currently shut down. What I do think about, is what he's gonna look like months from now with his new family and his new fault, you know? And whether it be other dogs in his pack or kids or his best friend that takes him running all the time, you can just see him happy and relaxing, laying down and watching TV after a fun day at the park. That's the way the king that we want to envision because when you do that too when you're around these dogs and and you envision where they will be not in their situation that they're in currently that confidence and that spirit definitely translate to them right it, it helps them feel that like they know they feel that, right dogs are so much more conscious of your body movements and your emotions and their feelings because they don't understand the words that you say i guess i talked to kobe my dog like he does understand them well, but but like for example, Bear on my shirt here, now named Shadow Moon, adopted, living with his dad, the best life ever. He was in this state, and now he is a confident and happy and loved dog. We should, you know what? To uh, Alexis, we should work on turning Wang into a T-shirt. Like, wouldn't he be pretty as this shirt? Yeah, I beautiful. You know what? I will work really hard to put the art together, and I will put I will put his shirt on. You can get this one of Bear, any of the sitting with dog shirts. But I will also make a special edition of in honor of him. And for every shirt we move, we'll give a dollar to San Diego Valley Humane Society because the cost of caring for him for so long, most shelters wouldn't do this, guys. And so we'll also give those funds over the next month to San Diego Valley Humane Society. All right, my team and I were able to pull it off, which just is unbelievable. This was a matter of days. We designed it, we ordered all of the inventory. But here's the deal, when we sell out, we sell out and it'll probably be pretty quick. It has my with dogs writing in there because life is better with dogs. So just click on the products right on the screen to get yourself a Wang the King limited edition high quality shirt right now. And when you get it, it also goes to the animal shelter and supports their efforts. And if you're watching this down the line and they're all gone, no problem. You can still get a Sitting With Dogs classic shirt. I'll put all the details down below or you can just go to uh, this link I'll put right here on the screen. And if it helps raise more awareness for him, We'll do it. And I think, I think we should give him a whole stick because he's relaxing again. Let's, let's reward that. Here you go, bud. <laughs> oh, that's a good bite. Look at that chopper. You good boy. <laughs> that makes me really happy. <laughs> that makes you so happy.
I think I think it's too because I make these treats and I know like there's a lot of love that's baked into them. You're a good boy. You're a yeah, you're a good boy, Wayne. You're a good boy. You feel good. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, Wayne. You want another treat? You want another treat, buddy? Here, come here, come here. Oh, there you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. There you go. Here you go. Okay, I call this the uh, the pack pants. So I make a lot of treats here. Let me see if I get them to going forward. Let's see how far that goes. Let's see how far that goes. Come on. He's looking at the big treat stick. Like, I thought, are we not still doing that? Go ahead, buddy. Right here. It's like just that willingness to move forward, even if it's in small little treat bites like that. That is where he gets his, his name from. And that's where it's so fitting with King. Come on, buddy. You got it. It starts small here, but it'll be big leaps and bounds where he's running through the trail. You can stand up too. You don't. You don't have to let, crawl over this. Good boy. That's a good boy. So, I'm sorry. I know you've been through it, my man, and I'm sorry. Right. So, does that feel good? Here we go from the treats to getting some love. You are a cuddle thing. You are just a good cuddle bugs. Yeah. It's a good boy. Yeah, here. So, oh, hey, so, boy. <laughs> hit the spot. He's hit the spot right there, but you like this? Right there, you can it. What's that? You get no spook the phone? Well, that's a different dog right there, huh? <laughs> so, you can feel that in his brain right there. That feels so good. A lot of times you guys see me at animal friends of the valleys in wildemar california i just started working there more because they've got a pretty large intake it's somewhat close to my house but i've worked with shelters across the nation and in that time i've done a fair amount of work at san Gabriel valley humane society and the team here is really awesome and they're often overlooked because they're in los angeles county but they're not los angeles county and that's that's good and bad in some way because los angeles county is really well, ever all shelters are really struggling right now. It's the highest amount of pets that I've ever seen since I've been doing this. And uh, there's so many factors as to why. But when I reached out to Cindy, their director, I, I just said, I wanna I wanna figure out how to help her. And she said, We we have a dog playing that we would really love help with because everyone loves him. He's a staff favorite. I wanna try to uh, come to more shelters and highlight some of the amazing things we're, they're doing. Wayne, it's going to be okay, buddy. You may not know this, but we have a lot of people watching. And if, you, if you're thinking, well, I want to help, but I can't get it, sure. You could also become a member. And it's a small monthly amount. You get to be the first to know when dogs get adopted. Like when Wayne gets adopted, we let people know there first. Because it's a safe space. Because sometimes dogs get adopted, they get returned the next day. So I don't want to go wide with the information how I'm served. But we also do pup dates, so everyone knows. Another way to help, it costs nothing, is just to share. Because that has been the biggest effect of getting dogs adopted, is when people share a video and someone else sees it. If you see me out in public and you come up to me, I th thank you. I love it because I love meeting fellow dog lovers. Like, we are a community. But people come to me and go, I'm sorry, I never knew about you. And then I saw the dog, of, uh, the video of this dog and I adopted that dog. And I find, you don't need to know about me, you need to know about Wang. If I can disappear tomorrow, fine. As long as the dogs keep getting highlighted, you know? Yeah. Oh, he's so, he's so good. He's like, he's slowly starting to lean into me. Is there anything we should know about him that we would, that people wouldn't know? Like, I mean, I think he's very loyal. <laughs> loyal. Yeah. I feel like if I'm walking him and he sees anyone else, he like quickly just comes to me, you know? Oh, well, that's good. Reassures me. <laughs> kind of a Velcro yeah. dog sort of thing. That's good. He's super sweet. Definitely a cuddle bug. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He's starting to lean into me. I, I bet within a day, I'd tap him in my lap. Yeah. Look how his face lit up, though, when you came by. Like, what a different... Look at that. Paws out. Happy face. Oh, yeah. He definitely loves you. Um, he's good with grooming? Yeah, yeah, he that's, is. That's good. Yeah, he's already cleared, like, four treat six of me. So if he tries to tell you later he didn't get any treats in here, do not listen to him. <laughs> look at that. What a, <laughs> look, what a different face, huh? As soon as she comes up, look at that. You're doing a good Relax. Oh, yeah. He's doing great. <laughs> awesome.
Awesome. He asked everyone on the channel to subscribe already. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> okay, thank you. Have a good All life. Right, thank okay. you, guys. Yeah, he, he, he loves her. It's so great because you can see he is a great dog. He just doesn't, he just doesn't show well, right? Like imagine you're in your house and at any given time, anybody can just walk by the window and look in at you. Would you also not be a little concerned about that and be a little off put by everyone coming by? Hi, we get it, buddy. We get it. But that doesn't mean that's who he is. And, and that's the whole point of watching this video is you know you really get to see his true voice like what a different dog now just just from that that was that was kind of the turning point right there hey 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 and let me touch your paws hey 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 oh you oh you want more pets <laughs> i'm gonna put the image of him when we first came in here next to this right here and just look at the difference of a dog watch he's gonna ask for more pets watch You looking for more pets? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, he's a good boy. Wow, you have a big head too. I didn't, I didn't realize that you put the full weight of your head on me. Your head is like 12 pounds, dude. <laughs> here, let's do this. We'll feed you treats while you just sit here and get pet. You deserve that after a year of being at the shelters. You know, a little belly scratch. Wow. Look at that right there. So small, but so big. Like the fact that he'd open up like that to let me pet his belly. That's huge. Like if you know dog body language, you know what a big deal that is right there. That's not just him laying down. That's him saying, hey, I trust you. Scratch my belly. <laughs> That's a good boy. When they, when they do that, when they give me that trust, man, I really get to work for them. <laughs> like, I want to return that gesture of gratitude. Yeah, this way. I love with big dogs, like, the, the physical ability. You can do that right there. Like, nothing replaces that with a big dog. You can do that with a small dog. You're like, in there across the room, you know? With big dogs, like, I love that. Oh, good boy. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed it's like a dad thing, <laughs> you know? Like, I've never seen my wife Kelly do that to the dogs, but man, I get in there. I pat Kobe. <laughs> Look at the cop. Look at how big those toe beans are. Like, at that point, those aren't even toe beans. Those are like toe potatoes. <laughs> Look how big those are. Big G lounger. Hey, guys. You wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know you're shy at this point. Yeah. That trust right there is amazing. That makes me so happy. Yeah, you make me so happy, buddy. You are going to make the best family member for somebody. Okay, so we're at a different shelter than Animal Friends of the Valley. Just, we're at San Gabriel Valley Humane Society. I will link all of his information so you can get all the details about him. Just go to rockykanaka.com. You can just uh, type Wang into the search bar. I'll also put the link down below so that you can get all the information about him so that you can stay up to date on his story and also have all the information there if you want to adopt him what a difference oh you want to lean on my leg a little bit there we go yeah good boy I, he's a dog too that like he does he needs to go immediately into a home but that i would love to take to flip's farm and just give him the time to rehabilitate and like and learn what it's like to to be on a farm and be in a have his own little house and if you haven't heard of flip's farm too it is the farm that I started to rehabilitate dogs in honor of my late dog Flip that helped me with fostering so many dogs and saving so many dogs. And so I've been working on this farm for years and we've been growing coffee. It's in Southern California. And so we started Flip Coffee. And when you purchase the coffee, it goes to help with the dogs on Flip's farm. And um, not only is it just something I'm so proud of, and it's so fun having you guys along on this journey with. But it's also the best coffee in the world. Like, it's you guys. I don't think you understand how many cups of coffees and tasting cupping or cuppings that I did, and roasting profiles that I did to get this coffee just right to make it just delicious coffee you can wake up into in the morning. And because one of my favorite things is having coffee and hanging out with my dogs, dogs and coffee, right? And now I've got both of those and I wanna share that with you. So I will link the coffee on here as well. It just launched 
So if we're sold out, I'm sorry, but we're making it as fast as we can. And um, yeah, have a cup of coffee with me. Help me rehabilitate these dogs. <laughs>